part two. My horse has been diagnosed. I did call the vet out. It is a simple abscess on his foot, so I am soaking it. And his breathing is labored because he has the heaves. So this time of year, apparently, it's bad in Florida. So we've given him 10, um, what is it, 10 millimeters? I don't even know, 10 cc's, excuse me, of dex. And when you give a horse a shot, we all know that it has to go above here. This is where their bone runs. This is their first muscle mass and under this muscle mass. So it has to be in this triangular area. He's had a shot on the other side um, here. The vet gave it to him. So tomorrow I will do it on this side and then alternate so it doesn't get sore. He needs a shot every day of 10 cc's. And then after that, it will be reduced weekly, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So meantime, um, I need to soak his foot. I think the best soak for a horse, everyone says Epsom salt, and that's fantastic if, you, if that's all you have. But I do recommend um, chlorhexidine, which is a blue solution you buy for $11 a gallon, and you mix it. So I put um, about one-fourth of this bottle with water, and he's obviously not feeling well, and he's allowing me to just soak his foot. So we're going to take advantage of that. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to put some Providine iodine on it. I'm going to soak three of these, put it in the area, and then I'm going to take, this is um, puppy pads. I've cut them out to the shape of a hoof. I'll put them underneath the padding of his foot, and then I will duct tape it. First, I will use vet wrap, okay? And then after that, to make sure, because it's going to be raining here, of course, we have Hurricane Michael coming. So um, duct tape is my best friend. So we're going to try to make it waterproof. On these puppy pads, it's waterproof on one side and soft on the other. So this is going to be my little tactic, and that's what I'm going to do. I will update you when it rains, of course. Have a great day. I hope this helps somebody. Bye.